P7, which I think is me. I mean, who the hell else would it be? Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. I'm sorry, does that say does that say coffee soap? Is that a coffee soap shop? Like that's the one thing they sell is coffee soap? <laughs> Outfit candidate P7. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Jesse's shoplifted? Oh, bad girl. them being a janitor. Right, they mentioned before that they've done that sort of work, right? Jesse Faden movement tracking. Uh, regarding eastward movement, cause for concern? Taking place over about a month at Near the end of 2019, departs Cheyenne, Washington, arrives in Sydney, uh, Nebraska? Yeah, that's Nebraska, right? Arrives in Des Moines, I think that's Idaho, departs, arrives in Chicago, Illinois, South Bend, South Bend, I-N, what is I-N? I don't remember. Cleveland, Ohio, Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, New York City, New York. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside, and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector... Let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Obviously a bureau plant. Or, I guess not necessarily. The psychiatrist might not have been a bureau plant. It could have just been that they bugged the psychiatrist's office. 
No, but the way they... No, no, never mind. What am I... What am I saying? The way the psychiatrist really, really, really focused on, like, the slide projector and obviously trying to see, hey, do you have any abilities? No, they're a plant. place just for the ordinary altered world event. Okay, I don't want to go there just yet. I want to make sure I've gotten everything from in here because I don't think I have. So we've been to all these doors. That goes back to the beginning. I checked out downstairs, but I haven't been down there towards the twisting stuff. Have I even checked out the bottom floor? Oh, apparently. God, it looks so bizarre. Sorry I chose the darkest place to enter this. What is that noise? It's a mannequin. Seems to be an altered object. Brightfall's supplement. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Brightfall's event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Harmon. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality, stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press. Uh, agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. And there's a monitoring station. Establish a cauldron lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. God, I love how that looks. Just twisting into the distance. Anything creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. A few dozen? I think there might be hundreds. So am I trying to find the one? It seems to be trying to mask itself amongst copies. if I can blow him up. No. They're 
only upstairs. Mannequin procedures. No known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Update. Lining the item's cell with the newly discovered black rock has yielded positive results. Test with other altered items. A wire and fabric waste mannequin. The base and head are made of stained wood. The item duplicates. The trigger for this behavior is unknown. No correlation can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during an episode or the duration for which they last before disappearing. Okay, now let's continue on. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Do I still have any quests left for this area? Ah, right, find the ordinary Alter World event area. Also, self-reflection. There's a mirror. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Mirror that we just read about. It's in the Synchronicity Lab. Chat dead dog. What? I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. What the fuck? All those buttons or whatever they are have text on them and I think they almost are readable if you just could really 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 zoom in but I can't read it from here and I want to know what they say. Take me down to the transit corridor. Oh. Willow Altered World Event Shipping Manifest, Inventory List of Recovered Materials, A Hollow Sphere, Stone-like Material, Vitrified Soil, Some Number Pieces of Various Sizes and Colors, Animal Carcass, Possibly Canine, Oh, was that the Dead Dog? Rusted Metal Bucket, Leather Wallet, Aged Shotgun Cartridge. All materials go to the Investigation Sector for further analysis. Dylan, 
and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. I need to fix this place before I go exploring too much. there and it's never gone away yes ability point hidden location Honestly, the ability point itself isn't even the main reason I want to do it. It's just the recognition that it's a hidden area. Just that alone would be enough for me. Typewritten page supplement. Oh, right. That's, uh... That's the thing we picked up in, the, in Dead Letters. The page was discovered in an instance of the the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked to the investigations sector. The page had been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with a symbol of a spiral. Text transcribed from the item. For ten years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they're all the same. It's a hideous trap, my every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you mad. The identifiable words in the scratched out portion. Falls, Bright Falls, Haunting, Wake, Alan Wake, Light Switch, Ocean, Too Late. In the final sentence, You've been warned. Wait, why did that start to hurt me?
Okay. Before I continue, since this is main quest stuff, I want to do other things, such as turn in the quest to Langston. Better not get blamed for this mess in the... Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but... That's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. So we're supposed to locate the mirror in synchronicity in research. Perhaps it's in mirror testing. <laughs> Why'd they keep an altered item here? Debrief for mirror excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. It's the longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. Mirror altered item. Summary. This proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. Is it transplanar, psychologically generated, or rooted within our own dimension? How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel reality? If so, then we need to consider that while we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purposes might they use it for? Can they walk through into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is... Two cameras pointed at it from different sides of a hallway, I think. Mirror containment. The mirror does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy. The environment seen in its glass contains slight distinctions. It's unknown why the mirror does this. If there is any then it's something we can't perceive. The popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind, that it reflects the world it wishes were real, subtly replacing our reality with its own. While well, certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. The specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side or the mirrors. 
For added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. So how do they need to be arranged? It looks like there's a mirror in there. Oh, I think it's... I think the arrangement is shown here. We can see there's one that's closed, two that's open. It's hard for me to picture which side this is supposed to be on, though. Anyway, the one that's closed is the one furthest away from the camera and the caution tape. So it's this one? Shutters in the image look different. And for this one, the two closest to the mirror are closed. What a weird way to lock something up. Notice it's not reflecting me. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. God, I wonder what they're saying. I'd love to reverse it. <laughs> Need to know what this needs to be first. Everything's reversed, isn't it? Because it's a mirror. Oh, that means the solution to this is probably going to be reversed or something. I guess it could be any of those. I might have to go back to the other world and see what the answer is. And then reverse it and bring it here. I can't open this. Newbies of data, the reverse of the one we had before. What? I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to they were reversed. Now that you reverse the reversing, they're forwards. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you? There's something in that fucking mirror. Oh. 
What's in the fucking mirror? I don't know if I want to try to get this to work or if I should see what's further out there. I want to see if there's any special lancer on the other side. I can go back, right? No. Never mind. I guess I'll try these. Yeah, I can't get it to work. I don't know if any of these are the solution. It might not be. That's the same as the other one. Yeah, there's a lot of that one copied over and over again. That one's also over there. But that one can't even be replicated. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Why is the text on this forwards? Federal Bureau of Control. Why is that all forwards reading? But all this stuff is backwards. Anyway, maybe that's the solution. So just the bottom one. There's also the lines appearing. I think there's double lines above. So bottom one is completely filled in and top is double lines. I really thought that'd be it, but doesn't seem to be unless I'm just entering it wrong. God, oh, they put those all over the environment on purpose, didn't they? Just attempt me, bastards. Oops. the same as the other ones, right? Yep. Same as the other ones. Now that's not the same. But that also can't be replicated. You can't completely fill in the center. Yeah, that one also can't be replicated. Don't have that level of granularity. first. Loud. 
hope she doesn't know. That's not good. this mirror up. gone. It's dealt with. Ah, <sighs> yeah, it's not here in this world. I can never get back there. I wonder what it was. Yes, yeah, so this is just showing the, or the other world is showing the mirrored version of this, which doesn't seem to be the answer in the other world. In this world, the thing here that was printing out another one isn't even here. Maybe I just messed him up. Maybe one of those was the answer. Mirror procedures. That should be kept in a sealed chamber with minimal external visibility. A hanging mirror, oval in shape. The frame is made of ornately wrought brass. The item does not reflect its surroundings accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notable is the fact that the glass transport individuals to a paranatural space when touched. In this space is an imperfect reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simple mirror images. Some are... Well, some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a distance from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes depending on its surroundings. Agents have been sent in to explore the reflection. Something, something has been observed in the test subject sent inside, believed to be psychosomatic. Prolonged exposure to the reflection is not advisable. Let's finish out the episode by spending our points and also trying out the new outfit! Eight points. Ah, oh, right, I want the shield rush. Yes. God, just two points and you get double damage to the shield rush. I really want this energy will recover while shield is active. But I also want more levitate time. 
Let's make it do more damage. And let's get more levitation duration. What's new here? Ah, now we can upgrade spin. Do I want to though? It's a terrible weapon. I don't want to. But I do want to check out the outfits. I mean, it's a candidate outfit, so it's probably not going to look stylish. I'm expecting a jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah, looks just like Dylan. Oh, I mean, Jesse can rock anything. They look good in it, but no. I mean, okay, let's at least equip it and like move around. in there and we go around that way you know. yep just real casual wear oh i am curious if i wear this and go speak with dylan are they gonna note anything about it like hey sister nothing to talk about Back to the golden suit. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, there's only one non-main quest to do, and that's put a record on. Use the token in the jukebox.